New at 6, this Federal Hill bar has been closed following a 2014 deadly assault that happened outside its doors. But now the bar's former owner wants to open a new place and made his case before the Board of Licenses today. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now with more details from the Mobile Newsroom. The controversial nightclub and restaurant owner will be allowed to open his new Federal Hill bar for now. He's previously had clubs shut down after a murder at one and a violent assault at another. Smoking lounge with a restaurant concept. Gianfranco Morocco will be allowed to open his new Latin hookah bar, Blend, on Federal Hill. The Board of Licenses ruled he can open it for at least 60 days. It's going to have a very Latin vibe. Morocco owned the $3 bar back in 2014 when 34-year-old Jonathan Stack was attacked with a 2 by 4 there and later died. The bar was shut down after the murder as police say the staff failed to call 911 while Stack was being assaulted. He also owned Club Karma, also shut down after a 20 2014 shooting there that injured two people. We are not talking about ancient history here. We are talking about very, very recent history. Sharon Steele is a public advocate trying to stop Morocco from opening Blend. He says although he's requesting a liquor license until 2 a.m., Blend won't be a nightclub. He also denies any responsibility for the violence at his former establishments. Unfortunately, it's a crazy world. Something could happen as we are speaking right now. Someone could come by and shoot all of us. I mean, there's things in life that are just beyond our control. So again, Blend will be allowed to open for 60 days during that time. The Board of Licenses will review Morocco's record as a bar owner. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.